In this video, we're going to clean these dirty lines on this water-cooled computer and show you each step. Dan, what if you, you don't think it's going to get All right, water here we go. Me? First things first, Watch. open up your case, remove the cooler from the CPU. As you can see, those lines are green. It's not from dye. It's just from really dirty lines. Um, something you'll note, and then he's unscrewing all the pieces to the heat sink, and eventually he'll take those tubes off. The radiator is mounted at the top of the fan, and then the water pump and a reservoir is on the front of the case near where the CD-ROM drives usually are. So we decided to pull out the whole thing, the radiator and the the um, reservoir. So we're just taking off all the screws to get the whole system out of the case. You know, you could probably do it with the in the case, but you risk dripping water on power supplies and other things. But we're just going to pull it all the way out. And um, as you can see, it's very dirty. It's been used this way for over three years. And uh, there it is, that's the setup. And we're gonna dust it all off. We're gonna remove all the water. We're gonna use ketchup and vinegar to clean everything off. And then uh, do it again. So first off, taking off the cooler. Pipe number one, pipe number two. And actually the water was very clean. It's just the actual uh, lines that got really dirty, that got corroded. So the water was looked clear perfect and as you can see there the reservoir has got some crustacean on there as well then we're going to remove it from the radiator so two pipes off there's a total of three pipes removing the third pipe and removing it from the reservoir make sure you drain everything completely Removing the fans from the radiator to clean them. Now over at the sink, we're cleaning out the reservoir. We unscrewed the front of it, and we are going to run vinegar through it, and using a toothbrush, cleaning it all out as good as we can. Remove the gasket. Remember to keep all your screws and gaskets together. Keep it, keep them all so you know where to find them when you got to put it all back together. Also, you don't want to tear a gasket. You don't have to go find it, buy another one. All right, now the radiator. Same thing, vinegar. Use a funnel, which helps. Clean the fins on the radiator and let the radiator dry. Cleaning off the heat sink. And then inside of it, cleaning all the uh, the rubber pieces inside of there. There's a lot of uh, gunk in there.
So now we're just dusting off everything within the case, making sure everything's clean. And uh, we're actually reapplying, we removed the old heat sink grease, uh, thermal grease with a cotton swab, and then we're reapplying the new one. And we're getting the processor ready for mounting of the heat sink. Then start cutting your tubes to length, start pre-applying them. Make sure you put the right uh, connectors on there so everything is right and you're ready. When you slide it on, you can tighten it. Screw the fans back on, get them nice and good. As you can see, they look way cleaner than they did before. one to fill in. Make sure you get a funnel. We got a little funnel to go in there like that. One's for air, to let the air when you bleed it. I already bled it. Just to do another test, it's gonna go. It's green to black, will power on the pump. It's auxiliary power, so it has enough power to power on the pump. So green to black, and then now to test the pump. Make sure it's not leaking. Plug it in. Get the water flowing. See it moving. There's a spider web in here. You see the water flowing in and out. And we have no leaks. How do you know it's full? You can look over here. You can look at this reservoir and you can uh, notice that see it's full. And you can even feel the pump running. You can see you can see the pump running. I cleaned it all out. 
Thanks for watching. As you can see, it's that simple. You could probably do it much quicker. This is a very thorough job. As I mentioned, you don't necessarily have to remove it. Sometimes you can do it within the case. Um, just make sure you don't have any air bubbles. Clean it as best as you can and don't strip any screws along the way. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.